Hello, this is drsystems.com and today we talk about pipe wall thickness measurement. Here's the pipe covered by heat insulation as the most of the pipes at the oil refinery and we want to know what is the wall thickness of this pipe. As soon as the pipe is covered by heat insulation there is no excess and we cannot use ultrasonic sensor to measure it and uh, digital radiography gives us an opportunity to do that. To do that we need to put an x-ray detector behind the pipe. We need a steel ball with a size of 2 to 3 centimeters installed on the pipe and we need an x-ray source uh, someplace here. What is important? It's not a good idea to try to measure all the walls at one image. If we are interested to measure this part of the pipe, the steel ball must be here. If we want to measure this pipe, we move the detector and we move the ball here. The right place for the X-ray source or gamma source is somewhere between the pipe wall we want to measure and the steel ball. In other words, we put the line between the wall and the ball going from the detector and this is the right place for the X-ray or gamma source. Not here and not here but here. Then we have to choose a really strong x-ray source to do this. This pipe is only 4 inch and the wall thickness is 4 millimeters and this pipe can be measured by 300 kV source or iridium-192. This pipe is a little bigger, it's 6 inch and it's probably better to use iridium-192 not x-ray source to measure this pipe. If your pipe is bigger, let's say 8 inch, and if your wall thickness is above 10 millimeters, the technique is uh, really difficult to use. And if the pipe is even thicker than that, the technique is not applicable. To measure the pipe wall thickness, you just have to take an image like this. Here is an x-ray source, here is your ball, here is your pipe wall and you will see the projection of all these parts on the detector. The ball will be used for size calibration and you will simply see the pipe wall on the image and you will be able to measure it directly. Let us now see how the image looks like and try to use our software tool and measure the pipe wall. Thickness. Here's the idea illustrated by a simple picture. The pipe is inside, here is the heat insulation, the detector is behind the pipe, the steel wall is here installed on the insulation and here's the right place for the x-ray or gamma source between the steel wall, the steel ball and the pipe wall on this line. Not here and not here but right on this line. This will give you the same geometric amplification factor for the steel ball and for the pipe wall. Therefore, your measurement will be more accurate. Here is our image. So what we can see is the steel ball. Here is the hint insulation. And here is the pipe. So the first thing I want to do is to use the B filter. It's important to use B-filter because B-filter was specially done for this measurement. With the B-filter you will see the uh, pipe wall clearly. You will also see the steel ball. So first thing you have to do is size calibration. Let me delete these rulers and do everything from the beginning. So first thing I have to do is uh, put a ruler uh, across the steel ball and I know that the real size of the ball is 30 millimeters. I have to print it here apply to all images. So now my image is calibrated and I can measure the real size of the pipe wall. For this I can use either manual way or automatic. If the wall is seen very clearly, it's 
possible to use automatic instrument. I choose the profile. I put the profile across the wall and I push this button. Then the instrument is now working and I see the size which is the estimation done by the automatic instrument of the software. Sometimes the wall is seen but not so well and uh, the instrument is not so accurate. For example, let us move it here. And as you can see, the wall is thin, but uh, the instrument doesn't work. So in this case, it's possible to do it manually. I just put the ruler here. And I try to find the inner and outer wall, outer border of the wall. So my estimation of the wall thickness for this place is 5.3 millimeter. Here it will be 3.6 millimeter. Here it's also 3.6, probably it was the same sort of pipe. Uh, please look here. This pipe is too thick and it's not possible to measure because you cannot see the inside of the wall. So the outer border of the wall is seen clearly, but the inside of the pipe is not seen. And that means that uh, your X-ray, your gamma source was too weak. And if you want to measure the wall thickness here, you need a stronger X-ray or gamma source. In this case, for example, we used 300 kV and uh, the pipe is 6 inch, which is too big for this X-ray source. And what we need is to use Iridium 192 and the image will be brighter and you will see the inside of the wall. So here it's not possible to measure just because you cannot see the inside of the, of the pipe. So that's it. The instrument is very simple and uh, doesn't take long time to do that. Just try.